What's the difference between this and scalar light? So scalar light is using um, basically static electricity. So it's charging up the air with electricity and it's got a very aggressive kind of feeling energy. Uh, it's similar to the biocharger. Actually, biocharger copied Tesla lights and they made their own system. Look on YouTube, look on biocharger versus Qi coil. I'll do a whole video on about that, about comparing the uh, biocharger, which is the same as resonant light with the Qi coils. So the Qi coils in general, is just a lot safer to use. It costs a lot less and you actually works better. Uh, according to a lot of doctors I told, talk to, this works better than a biocharger. Now, obviously the people who have biochargers get mad at me because they say, oh, it's not the same, but that's what they're telling me. And I've tried the biocharger too. Generally the biocharger and those Tesla lights, they make you feel very anxious because they're charging the air with static electricity. And that kind of, that kind of energy is not the right energy to balance your energy field because it doesn't have, it doesn't balance it with the yin energy. It's all the yang energy. It charges up the air with that electricity. And according to like the ancient texts, you know, every element has a, has a quality, has a feminine or masculine qualities. Air is actually yang, which is a masculine quality. So if you charge up the air, you get this really intense, aggressive energy. Now, if you want to go and use the energy and go fight and compete in sports, the bar charge is good for that because it'll give you that really aggressive energy. But then you, it's, that's not what you want all the time because then you'll just be a very aggressive and mean person. And uh, so it's not healthy in the long run. So what you need is the, you, need the, you need the yin to balance with the yang. And most people, our yin is, is depleted. So we need to recharge our yin. And we have actually plenty of yang. So we don't actually need more yang for most of us. Um, the chi coils, we have them in yin and we also have them in yang. So you get both, so you get the balance. And they cost a whole lot less. So now if you're doing Reiki, this will amplify your Reiki, okay? If you're an energy healer, this will amplify your energy healing because it will actually um, recharge you as the healer, as well as the uh, client that you're healing. Because a lot of times, even qigong, pranic healing, energy healing, uh, Reiki healing, once you finish with the client, it kind of takes away from us and we get tired. Like energy healing healers, they love this. They swear by chi coils because they just give them so much energy. They can see many clients without getting tired. Uh, so it's like a tool that is like a battery that um, recharges you and the cl client at the same time. Holographic awareness is like seeing many colors or things that aren't there. My interpretation of holographic awareness is just that being able to perceive something is kind of has more than one dimension. Like when you see, look at a phone or look at an object, you know, you can see it, it's two dimensional, but then you can understand it or perceive it in a way that's three dimensional, which means it has depth and width and height, or even more dimensions, which basically you can see on the fourth dimension, which means that you can see that it's connected to everything else in the universe. If you can see in four dimensions, then that means that you can see everything at the same time everything in, in the universe, everything that happened in the past, present and future, every point in space, all in one place on the same time. So holographic vision means that you can basically be omniscient. That's the word Like you can see everything. When you use our chi coils, it basically helps you to push up your health. And eventually, once you get high enough, once you get at such a high level, the force that's trying to push it down becomes weaker. So basically it's giving you this extra energy and this extra boost that comes from outside of you. It comes from the energy coming from here. So you don't have to use your own effort or your own willpower or your own conscious mind even to do it. It does it for you. So it increases and it pushes up this, this energy and this frequency in your body. Now you see, let's say there's this much space and this is all the force coming down. The more there is a negative force, then the heavier it gets, right? And it's harder for it to push up, but the smaller it gets, then it gets lighter because there's less. So let's say you're this, you're this cup or this jar. And then you start with, let's say a bunch of negative energy in it. So what happens is, um, it becomes very heavy and the heavier it gets, the harder it is to push it back out, especially with all the GMO and all the crappy food and drugs and 
bad frequencies and EMFs, it's, you know, all that adds up and it becomes very heavy. So it's very hard for some person who is very sick to get that energy to push back all that stuff out of their jar. So what the Chi Coast does is actually help you do that. It helps you to push out all that bad stuff out of, of your jar, fill it with good energy, good frequencies. And once you have this energy, like fill up your jar with good frequencies, energies, then, then if, you, if there's like bad stuff trying to get in, it doesn't have as much effect on the whole jar 